Dark Dragon, here. Coming to you live from room 114, I think. I always forget. 114. Say hi, class. Hi, Dragon. All right, okay. Um, so we're going to do the review um, of Chapter 8. Uh, chapter 8 study guide. Um, so I'm going to do one page at a time, stop, then move on. Um, all right, let's go. So the first page is all solving inequalities. Um, so anytime I see this problem, and I'm going to rewrite it so you can see it a little better maybe. X plus 12 is equal to 21. So basically what this is saying is a number plus 12 is equal to 21. So a number plus 12. We don't know what that number is. But we want to get it alone to solve because basically we're going to get x is equal to a number and whatever that number is um, will tell us what, shoot, that is confusing. Uh, x is equal to a number and then we'll be done. So really the only way, the only thing I have to do to get x alone here is to do the opposite of what's happening to x. So x is being 12 is being added to x. I need to take 12 away from x. Subtract, subtract. This cancels out. I get x equal to 21 minus 12. Uh, well, 21 minus 12 is 9. So x is equal to 9. Uh, on the second question, I have r minus 2.4 is equal to 12.3. So I want to do the opposite. This is r minus 2.4. I want to add 2.4. And basically, it's, it's minus 2.4 plus 2.4, uh, which makes it 0. So on this side of the equation, r is alone. So plus 2.4, 12. 0.3 plus 2.4. Well, 0.3 plus 0.4 is 0 0.7. 12 plus 2 is 14. So r is equal to 14.7. Um, and this is an interesting question. Uh, not necessarily because it's fascinating, but we struggle with this one. This one's hard um, because it's three fifths. We're not real good at three fifths. So I'm going to show you guys. Uh, three ways to solve this. Um, uh, none are none are not okay. They're all they're all fine. They work in their own time. Um, so the first way I'm going to do is I'm just going to say um, okay so I want to this is 3 over 5 k is equal to 30 and I imagine this as 3 k over 5 is equal to 30. And when I see it like that, I notice that 3k is being divided by 5. I don't want that 5 there, so I'm going to do the opposite of dividing by 5. I'm going to multiply by 5. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. So this 5 and this 5 become 5 over 5, which is 1. And I'm left with 3k. And this is 30 times 5, which is 150. And from here, this is a one-step equation. This is 3 times k is equal to 150. Well, I need to divide by 3, so that will go away. Divide by 3, and I get k is equal to 50. Now, that's one way to do it. Um, so let me do another way. Same question. Uh, so 3 fifths k is equal to 30. Now this way is um, the quick way. I want to get rid of the 3 and the 5 at one time. So what I do is I multiply by the reciprocal. And I know that's a, that's a term that we don't always remember, but basically what multiply by the reciprocal is, is you multiply by reciprocal is the complete flip of a fraction. Basically, this is 3 over 5. This is going to be 5 over 3. And what you'll see here is this 5 cancels out with this 5. 
and this 3 cancels out with that 3. So we multiply by the reciprocal, which is 5 thirds. So basically we have 30 over 1 times 5 thirds. So this 3 will cancel out. That will become 1. The 30 will become 10. 10 times 5 is 50. Um, and the last way, it's, it's not really my favorite way, but students all struggle with um, doing this in their calculator. So hopefully we can see that. So it's literally 30 divided by, we're going to just do 30 divide by 3 fifths. Divide by 3 fifths. Now, when we're doing this, yeah, we can keep change flip, but it'll turn into this. But if we want to check ourselves in the calculator, a lot of students don't understand that division is the same thing as fractions. So if you want to say 30 divided by, and you want to put 3 fifths into the calculator, you just need parentheses, and it's 3 divided by 5. And I know there's a fraction button, but there's not a fraction button on all calculators. So this is a way that would work on all calculators. So basically it's in a, shoot, you can't see that. Can you guys see that? Yeah. All right, so 30 divided by 3 fifths. Um, press enter, and we get 50. Yay. All right, two more. X over 10 equal to 12. It's X divided by 10. The opposite of dividing by 10 is to multiply by 10. I just wrote 5. 10 times 10. This 10 and that 10 will cancel out. I get x is equal to 12 times 10, which is 120. And finally, I have 4.5x equal to 90. I'm multiplying here. So the opposite of multiplying is dividing. Divide by 4.5, divide by 4.5. Um, and so I like writing this as a fraction. I'll say 90 over 4.5 is equal to 900 divided by 45. And at this point, um, I just divide. So basically, I'm saying, well, 45 goes into 90 two times. And then there is a zero uh, left over, and y'all can't see that. So twice becomes 90, subtract zero, bring down the zero, zero left. All right, I'm going to stop there and upload a couple more.